Lucas. Did you hurt Lucas? I did not. I would never hurt my son. Tonight we know a small body has been found. A private investigator tells us that it is the body of Lucas Hernandez. I did Lucas so wrong. What will happen to her now that Lucas's body is found? Emily Glass is officially booked into jail. How did Lucas die? Did today. you accidentally no kill questions. him? We still want to know Emily's exact role, if she has one. Emily Glass is dead. From Eyewitness News, breaking news. Breaking news tonight out of East Wichita, where a child is missing. Wichita police are looking for this child, five-year-old Lucas Hernandez. Come take a look at his picture. He has been missing for hours from his home near Lincoln and Edgemore. Anna Ald is on scene and just spoke with police. Anna, what do we know? Devin, this is still an active scene. We are at the home where the little boy, Lucas Hernandez, he's five-year-old. We are at the home where he went missing. He was last seen here around 3 o'clock, and police were called around 6 o'clock. Let's take a look at his picture again. Please come and look at this because police are still looking for him at this point. There is still no sign of five-year-old Lucas Hernandez. He was last seen Saturday at 3 o'clock in the afternoon and reported missing about three hours later. Leads have led Wichita police to several different locations. Trevor Macy joins us from one of those spots. That's the Chisholm Creek area. So, Trevor, what is the latest on the investigation today? Mike, this is just one of several areas police have been searching today, all in the northeast part of Wichita, miles away from Lucas Hernandez's home where he was last reported seen. They say tips led them to these locations, but they haven't elaborated on what information those tips contain. Now, in all three of the locations that we've seen them search, they've been dealing with terrain like this, thick vegetation that makes it hard for them to sift through. It takes a lot of time, and if you look just past here, you can see a lake, a small lake. They were actually here with crews earlier searching in that lake for any sign of Lucas. The case of a missing five-year-old is now a criminal investigation. Lucas Hernandez has been missing since Saturday. Just over an hour ago, we have learned that police arrested his stepmother. Rachel Skyda has the latest on the case. Rachel. Well, tonight we know that Emily Glass is here at the Sedgwick County Jail, booked on two counts of child endangerment. This is in relation to the Lucas Hernandez case, but Lucas has not been found yet. And the police gave an update late this afternoon saying they arrested Lucas's stepmother. Again, that's 26-year-old Emily Glass. Five days and still no sign of five-year-old Lucas Hernandez. Officers say they are still searching for the boy. Missing since Saturday, his stepmom, Emily Glass, remains in jail tonight on a $50,000 bond. She was arrested and booked yesterday on two counts of child endangerment. Rachel Skyda is live outside of Lucas's home with what we know right now. Well, it's quiet here outside the home on South Edgemore right now. No police activity here from what we can see. This is the home where Lucas lives with his father and his stepmom, Emily Glass. But we know the family lived at a different location just months ago. We asked police for incident reports to that prior address, and here's what they show. We know in February of 2016, police were called to the apartment on South Webb for a disturbance between Emily Glass, Lucas's father, and another man. And then less than two weeks later, they responded to a report of domestic violence. In April of 2016, Glass was arrested for disorderly conduct over an incident at that apartment. And this past de December, a disturbance was reported at Beach Elementary School between Glass and Lucas's biological mother. Now, there's no sign that Lucas was involved in those disturbances. We spoke to Lucas's parents yesterday and they told me they will never stop searching for him. Nobody knows our little boy, but to them, it's their little boy. And I, I think everybody should think like that because it's never you, you know, until it happens to you. It's never even a thought that crosses your mind until it's a reality. So as a parent, you know, give them the extra kiss at night. Hug them a little longer. I want to give you one more look at Lucas's picture. Rachel, police still ask you to keep an eye out for him. Brittany, thank you. The search for Lucas has expanded over the past week to include areas like Glenday Park and also the Great Plains Nature Center, also Chisholm Creek Park. Here's a look at some of the video that our Skyhawk 12 got of Chisholm Creek Park. Now, tips led police to search that area multiple times. You'll see some of the terrain that you're looking at here that police have had to deal with trees. There are also ponds and other bodies of water there. If anyone does know, please say something. Because me and Dad are really sick.
It is now day 11 in the search for five-year-old Lucas Hernandez, and as police continue their search, for the first time, Lucas's stepmother answers some of your questions about the case. Now, police say it was Emily Glass who last saw Lucas before he disappeared. She's in jail, charged with child endangerment on a separate case involving another child. Today, she agreed to speak with Backfinder 12 investigator Devin Fassfinder for an interview exclusive to us. It's a question many have had for Lucas Hernandez's stepmother, Emily Glass, since Lucas disappeared. I asked it. Did you hurt Lucas? I did not. I would never hurt my son. Her son, she calls him through tears. He's my son, too, you know? I may not have given birth to him, but he's my baby boy. I take care of them every day. Though Glass was hesitant at first, she agreed to answer questions she was comfortable with. I do want people to know my side. I just, I'm just not there yet, you know? Okay. Um, there's, there's, a huge, there's a huge history between, you know, Lucas's family from New Mexico and I and all of the accusations. Those accusations that came on social media and Glass addressed the bruises. The majority of the time when he had gotten hurt and ended up with bruises, he wasn't under my care because I would send him off with my cousins and there's older boys over there and he's a very little small boy and he can get hurt easily. We had to tell him all the time, you know, be careful. Glass tells me on February 17th that she put Lucas down for a nap, which she says is normal. She said she took a shower and he was asleep, so she took a nap herself. She says he was wearing a pull-up because he has accidents sometimes when he sleeps. I asked again if she knew what happened to him, and she said no. But if anyone does know, please say something. Because me and dad are worried sick. Well, a judge refuses to acquit the stepmother of missing five-year-old Lucas Hernandez. Emily Glass's trial will continue. She faces a child endangerment charge unrelated to Lucas Hernandez or his disappearance. Brenda Carrasco is in the courtroom. She's live with the latest on the case. Well, Melissa, the defense argued the evidence presented in today's trial wasn't enough to prove Emily Glass put her one-year-old daughter in danger by allegedly smoking marijuana while caring for her. But a judge disagreed. Today, we heard testimony from a Wichita police detective who interviewed Emily Glass four separate times in the days after she reported Lucas Hernandez missing. The jury was shown a seven-minute video and read a four-page report where Glass makes statements to police that she smoked a bowl of marijuana at her home with her one-year-old daughter before driving driving to the Olive Garden. The defense argued Glass's statements were not enough to prove she had endangered her child, saying there was never any evidence in the home showing marijuana present or urine or blood tests done to prove Glass was telling the truth about smoking marijuana. Could you have asked Emily to submit to these tests? Um, it's possible. Did you ask Emily to submit to any of these tests? No, ma'am. Like I stated, there was a whole Another investigation we were doing at the time, and that was a more important investigation. And again, the judge denied the defense's request to acquit Emily Glass of that charge. The trial will resume tomorrow for closing arguments. The stepmother of Lucas Hernandez walking out of jail as a free woman this afternoon. It comes after a jury found her not guilty on a child endangerment charge. The charge against Emily Glass was unrelated to Lucas's disappearance. Brenda Carrasco has been following the trial the past couple of days. And Brenda, what can you tell us now? She's live outside of the courthouse. Well, Melissa, Emily Glass did not answer our questions as she walked out the doors of the Sedgwick County Jail earlier this afternoon, where she had been for the last few months ever since she reported Lucas Hernandez missing. We only heard from her attorney, who says she hopes the community can focus on missing, on finding the missing child. Emily Glass left the Sedgwick County Jail nearly three months after being arrested on a child endangerment charge connected to her one-year-old daughter. The arrest stems from statements Glass made to police in the days after she reported Lucas Hernandez missing, where Glass says she smoked marijuana at her home while caring for her daughter and then later drove to Olive Garden. Well, this neighborhood around Lucas's home on South Edgemore was filled with police the night that he was reported missing. That was three months ago, but some people say they want police to do more now. The group, a petition was formed yesterday, rather, by the group Finding Lucas Hernandez. That petition says Wichita has a great police department, but they want WPD to use what they call its most powerful tool, the community they protect and serve. 
The Finding Lucas Hernandez group consists of about 35 dedicated searchers. They say they do as much as they, as they can with those numbers, but they want Wichita police to call on the public to help with their searches so they can cover more ground. We understand that they, they want Lucas found as much as we do. We're not coming across as if they're not doing anything. That's not what we're trying to say. We just want to work with them and hope that they would want to work with us in order to achieve the primary goal here is to bring Lucas home. So what exactly is this petition asking police to do? Well, Julie LaFour says they just want police to help get the word out about their searches, whether that's on social media, in their daily police briefings, any platform that they can. That petition has more than 200 signatures right now. The goal is to get to 10,000. We are following breaking news right now. A heavy police presence right now in the 9700 block of South Woodlawn. Hold on, my producer is talking to me. What do you got, Rob? Okay, we can confirm now that this is related to the search for five-year-old Lucas Hernandez. He has been missing since February. Again, this information coming into our newsroom right now. Now, we can see out there many police officers in this area here on this live picture. This is from Skyhawk 12. We have been told that there is a media staging area in this area. Again, we have not confirmed. We have confirmed just now, according to sources, that this is related to the search for missing five-year-old Lucas Hernandez. And this is in the 9700 block of South Woodlawn. This is in Harvey County. You can see it is a rural area. It looks like a dirt road that we're looking down on right now from Skyhawk 12. Um, this information we have been following all this afternoon. We haven't been able to report much of it because it hasn't been confirmed until recently um, that we've been able to show you these live pictures and now just now confirming that this is related to the search for missing five-year-old Lucas Hernandez. From Eyewitness News, breaking news. What we do know right now is that we have found a, a body underneath the bridge. It's been three months now since five-year-old Lucas Hernandez was reported missing. We've all been following it since day one. Nobody knows our little boy, but to them it's their little boy. And I, I think everybody should think like that because it's never you, you know, until it happens to you. We're happy and hopefully there can be peace set for Lucas. Oh, I'm sure it brings a sense of relief to a lot of folks if this is in fact Lucas Hernandez. The body of a small child believed to be Lucas Hernandez is found. This is breaking news we've been following all evening. The body found under a bridge in the 9700 block of South Woodlawn in Harvey County. Sheriff Chad Gay said the body is in such a condition they couldn't identify it. We have multiple reporters on this story, including Brenda Carrasco, Rachel Skida, Devin Fassbinder, Angela Monroe, and more. We start with Rachel Skida. She has the latest from the scene. Rachel? scene out here tonight. Police have been here for hours. You can still see the lights back behind me. They arrived here earlier this evening uh, when that body was found. Now, Wichita police have told us they're not going to be able to give us any more updates here tonight, but we did speak to the Harvey County Sheriff earlier. He told us that they did find a small body. He couldn't say if it's Lucas Hernandez, but he says if it is, many people would feel a sense of relief. Well, I was just over at City Hall within the last three to four minutes. I saw two officers escort a woman. I did not see her face. I did see the top of her head, but I could tell it was a woman. They put her into the back of a patrol car and then took her over here to the Sedgwick County Jail. Now, earlier today, we heard from Lucas Hernandez's uh, family that said uh, Emily Glass may be in the Harvey County Jail, but we have not confirmed that. We looked at those jail records. She is not in that jail. She is also not in the Sedgwick County Jail or booked in yet as we have known. But um, again, just a couple of minutes ago, I saw a couple of police officers escort a woman, uh, put her in a patrol car and take her here over to Sedgwick County Jail. And again, we did not see her face, but we will keep you updated as soon as we know more. An update now to breaking news we brought to you last night. The stepmother of missing boy Lucas Hernandez is in jail right now, hours after a private investigator says Emily Glass led him to the five-year-old's body. Wichita Police, the Sedgwick County District Attorney, and Harvey County Sheriff's deputies were here along a rural road in Harvey County for hours last night dissecting the crime scene. 
We have Team 12 coverage this morning bringing you the latest on Lucas. And we start with Katie Johnston. She joins us live in Harvey County at the location where the body was found. What's the scene like this morning, Katie? Good morning, Scott and Natalie. As you mentioned, this all started to unfold late last night or yesterday evening, rather. And I'm standing near 96th and Woodlawn. And just behind me here, as you can see, the scene is clear. There are no longer any police officers out here. But it's just a few hundred feet up the road up there is where the private investigator says missing five year old Lucas Hernandez's body was found. We know Emily Glass, Lucas Hernandez's stepmom, is back in jail this morning facing charges of interfering with a law enforcement officer and obstruction. You're looking at video of Emily Glass walking out of the Sedgwick County Jail just about an hour ago. Glass, who police say is the living girlfriend of Lucas Hernandez's father, is free for now. The district attorney's office tells us it has not filed any charges against her, but the case still remains open. Emily Glass was silent as she left the Sedgwick County Jail today. She wore sunglasses and covered her face with a white cloth, but she appeared to be emotional. She quickly slid into a white van and was immediately escorted away from the Sedgwick County Jail. Glass was arrested late Thursday night following the discovery of Lucas Hernandez's body, and she was initially booked on charges of obstruction and interfering with law enforcement. A private investigator says Glass led him to the location where Lucas's body was found. And this isn't the first time Glass has been released from jail. Exactly one week before her latest arrest, she was found not guilty of a child endangerment on a separate case. And now Emily Glass walks free again while the district attorney's office awaits the results of a toxicology exam on Lucas's body. No charges are fi being filed today while investigators continue to follow up on newly developed leads and await the results of forensic examinations. The autopsy report in particular will not be final until the results of the toxicology exam is complete. This is a very rural part of Harvey County, about 20 miles from Wichita, underneath this bridge in the water. That's where the private investigator found Lucas's body. Emily Glass was with him and he recorded everything she said. Take a listen. It took more than three months for someone to find Lucas Hernandez's body. I don't know where exactly it's at. <laughs> I just know it's in Kichai. That's Emily Glass speaking to PI David Marshburn. Marshburn shared audio Thursday on Crime Stories with Nancy Grace. In it, you can hear just how terrified Glass was of jail time as she talks with Marshburn's assistant. You can't do jail. I can't. You ain't going to jail. Pre-trial services is not going to let me out. She's most emotional when talking about the consequences she could face. I'm a piece of shit. I'm a piece of shit. There are moments when she sounds remorseful. I just, I'm so sorry for me. I put everyone through hell. It's okay. And the only thing you can do from here is move forward and do everything right. I did Lucas so wrong. I did him wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Though she told investigators when she woke up from a nap, Lucas was gone. At one point, she tells Marshburn Lucas was on his back in his bed when he died. From Eyewitness News, breaking news. 15 days after she led a private investigator to the body of five-year-old Lucas Hernandez, sources tell Eyewitness News Emily Glass committed suicide early this morning. Glass is the live-in girlfriend of Jonathan Hernandez, Lucas's father. She's the one who reported the five-year-old missing more than three months ago. We have been monitoring this story since it broke overnight. Katie Johnston has been at the scene of the shooting near Kellogg and Edgemore gathering the latest information. She joins us now live. Katie. Natalie, good morning. We're standing, as you mentioned, just a few blocks south of Kellogg right now at the home that Emily Glass and Jonathan Hernandez once shared with each other. And I want to give you a look at the scene just behind me here. You can see that there are no longer any officers out here. The scene is clear. They left uh, a little less than an hour ago from the scene. And you can also tell there's no crime scene tape around the home. We now have the autopsy report for five-year-old Lucas Hernandez. Hernandez's body was found last month, three months after he was reported missing. Backfinder 12 investigator Devin Fastfinder joins us now from the newsroom. Devin, what does the report tell us? Well, Melissa, the autopsy report truly creates more questions. It did not determine a cause of death for Lucas Hernandez. His body was found in this spot in southeast Harvey County last month. The report we got today says although no trauma was identified, the state of Lucas's body meant there was only limited examination for soft tissue trauma. That means questions about how Lucas died are still unanswered. 
A toxicology report did not find any evidence of drugs in his system. The autopsy report for Emily Glass, the lone person of interest during the Lucas Hernandez investigation, also came back. It concluded she did die of suicide by a gunshot. The Sedgwick County District Attorney says he has a copy of the Hernandez's autopsy and will review the findings, then meet with police. He hopes to make an announcement on the case early next month. Remember, he told me after the suicide, if he doesn't charge anyone in this case, he will give us details about what police found.